Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. For years I've been meaning to put in a root cellar, and this year I finally took the initiative to actually do it. I considered burying a Connex container, but the more I studied that possibility, the more complications I discovered until it seemed like it would just be easier to build something from scratch. So I came up with my own original design instead. I built the frame out of angle iron and covered it over with sheet steel, kind of like an inside-out utility trailer. Thus, the first step was cutting up the steel and welding the support trusses together. Next, I excavated a hole with my backhoe. In the bottom of the hole, I built some wooden forms and poured concrete footings. The wood would also remain in place for the floor of the cellar. Then I set up the trusses and welded the sheet steel to them. I put a coat of paint on the steel and then installed the plywood shelves. I had to put the shelves in before I put the front on the building. Well, we got a problem here. I started refilling the hole with dirt and I loaded it too heavy on one side before the other and so the whole root cellar frame just shifted sideways off the foundation. I guess I'll just have to dig the dirt back out and see if I can get it back on.
Well, as you can see, I'm building some additional retaining features to help keep the dirt back so that I can actually put a door on the root cellar and be able to open and close the door. Um, and you can see over there, I'm using the backhoe bucket to hold the dirt back while I build the retaining wall. Additionally, I need to do something about drainage. Uh, you know, I'd always plan to leave a space under the root cellar for water to drain under so it wouldn't run into the root cellar. Uh, but again, the dirt tends to be filling up my drainage trench. So I think I need to shore that up with some cinder blocks. Uh, but I might have to modify the cinder blocks a little bit so that that'll actually work. So now you can see how any water that tries to pool up here is going to fall through the cinder block and then be able to flow out through these channels. It's actually surprisingly easy to carve a cinder block like this just using an ordinary ball peen hammer. Well, even with the cinder blocks in place, I was still having trouble with dirt sort of spilling around them and getting in the way of what's going to be the door swing. Uh, and I was too cheap to go out and buy more cinder blocks, so I built up sort of an embankment of lava rock uh, to help keep the dirt at bay. And finally, my root cellar is complete. I think this should work well enough for general food storage and possibly as an emergency storm shelter if I ever need one, but it was a lot of work to build, and as long as it took me, I can't help wondering if there are easier ways to achieve essentially the same result. Nevertheless, I will probably post my design notes on my website, uh, just in case anyone else wants to refer to them for inspiration or use them as a starting point to refine the design. Anyway, thanks for watching The Idahoan Show.